Hey there, thanks for checking out my Pick Real Review. I'm Kim Wolf with Affiliate Marketing Informant.com, informing you of everything you want and need to know about affiliate marketing. In this review of Pick Real, I'll show you what Pick Real is, how to use it, and answer if Pick Real is right for you. I'll give you a demo to show you inside and also walk you through so you can understand how to navigate Pick Real. I'll also show you how Pickroll guarantees to increase your website conversion rate by 25% or you get your money back. So you have nothing to lose really. I've written a detailed Pickroll review here on affiliatemarketinginformant.com as you can see where you will find more details about it and even a custom made user guide. So you can even use the user guide to navigate Pickroll and quickly access the help files for more specific training. Here's what you'll learn inside of my Pickroll review. I'll explain what PickReel is. I'll show you how to navigate the PickReel platform. I'll show you how to create a pop-up and define your settings around the pop-up. How to install the code on WordPress website. Don't worry, it's just one line. I'll show you how to test different pop-up variations and access the training and support when you need it most. And then last but not least, I'll show you how to import the pop-up leads into your favorite email platform. So a few questions you are probably asking yourself right now are, what is Pickreel? What does Pickreel do? Does Pickreel work? And do I need it? So let's answer these questions and more. So what Pickreel is, is an exit pop-up software that shows a special offer when a visitor appears to be leaving your website. The software offers you as a chance as a marketer and a website owner to capture an email address and make a sale from an ab abandoning site visitor before they leave. Exit offers are a proven marketing strategy to increase website conversions because the sad truth is, is that most people who come to your site will not buy from you. And this is known as website bounce traffic. So pop-up software like PickReel is designed to capture the interest of these people before they leave your site. By showing them a special offer, discount code, or survey questionnaire with the ultimate goal to get more clicks, more email opt-ins, and more sales. This is why Pickreel calls its product a conversion rate optimization software. To show you one example, this is one example of Pickreel's pop-up um, offers options. So you can see the banner popped up here and then you click on it and it actually gives you the pop-up message and it takes over your full screen. It prompts you to um, enter in basically to sign up for the service. And you can see here, it's got a power by Pickreel down here. So this is one option of a pop-up generated by Pickreel. So what you're looking at here now is actually my custom pop-up example that I created with Pickreel but it's actually a real live uh, pop-up. Um, the goal here is to see if people will opt in to my email list before they leave. Once they provide their information, I tell them about a simple strategy to make affiliate commissions online. So to show you the results that I received as soon as I implemented this particular um, pop-up, I received an opt-in just a few hours after I launched the pop-up. So just think, someone else who's joined my list who may have just left otherwise. I was able to capture their information. It shows you which time the lead came in and it actually shows you where on your website they actually opted in. So this is really useful because you can get pretty creative with these pop-ups and you can show them on different pages. So you can start altering the message on different pages based on what content it is, based on the user who may be on the page and what problem they're trying to solve. So pop-ups are nothing new. They've been around a while and the Pickreel software has been around for seven years. It was created back in 2013. So this is Neil Patel's website. He's a very well-known digital marketer and his net worth is estimated to be around seven to $10 million. He has pop-ups on his site. So here's an example of a pop-up on Neil Patel's site. So he's asking how much traffic should you actually be getting and you can actually take a quiz. So this is an example of a pop-up message. Now let's take a look inside Pickreel. Here's a real demo of how to use Pickreel to create website exit intent pop-ups for your website. So here we are inside of Pickreel. When you first come in here, you will typically land on this dashboard, which is called your statistics. This is your data, your metrics, 
This measures your performance. So you can see when I uh, actually implemented the pop-up, it's telling me since then I've had 52 visitors. Um, it's been shown 31 times. I have a conversion rate of 3.23%, which, um, which is one conversion. So I've had one person take me up on the offer and actually uh, give me their information to find out more information about what I was offering. So you can see the charts here and they'll uh, obviously uh, grow over time. And uh, some of the cool things, you can filter this information to see what you want by day, week, month. You can also choose the time period that you want to show for, and you can export this information, which is pretty cool. So the next tab area, this is probably one of the most important ones to start out with, is going to be your campaigns. So this is where you manage and create your pop-ups. Um, so on here, you can see that I've created two different pop-ups here. This is the one that's actually had the conversion, which is pretty cool. Um, you have different options for each campaign. So once you create it, you can manage it as you're going forward. And then you can add campaign when you want to create a new one. So just keep in mind, campaign means the pop-up. It's very easy. So I was surprised at how easy it is to actually create this. Uh, probably honestly took me maybe 5 to 10 minutes at the most to create the first pop-up. And then I even created some um, different variations to see which, which one's working. So when you choose create campaign, you'll be taken through a um, sort of a helper to design your pop-up. You can choose from different designs um, or uh, different designs and different options. So either just have a button if you want to collect the email. Um, a full screen, which is what we saw on Pickrill's site and also um, on Neil Patel's site where it covers up the entire screen. You can do the survey. So this is the one that uh, we're talking about. You can sort of do like a sort of like a quiz. All right. So just come here and uh, choose one you want. So I scroll down here and I chose this one right here. So I'm going to choose it now and show you how to do this. Um, this is the image, your pop-up on the right, this is your preview, and then everything is on the left. So it's, some areas are a little weird, it's kind of hard to figure out. Um, th some of the things that you need to know and that are going to be um, in my blog post for you is that the when you're replacing a background image, you just need to make sure you look at these little icons so it's telling you um, what photo size is going to be the best for the background and that you have a maximum size of 500 kilobytes. It will not accept your file if your file is any larger than that. Um, you can choose a different background here, but I would recommend that you either use what's here or upload a new one. You can do a color background if you want to do a just a simple color background. And this is how you actually change your message here. So you just come in here and just talk about uh, just write in what you want to say so in this case I'll say get unstuck in 12 steps free affiliate marketing training um, you can enter email this is this is neat so you can you know obviously you want to enter email so you need at least one field you can choose this just to have them enter the phone if you rather do that instead for SMS messaging. You can choose name and email or you can choose all three. So for my example, I chose name and email, enter name here. You can change this to say whatever. I just left it there. It's just telling the user to enter their name. I'm going to say get instant access and then you can leave that as is. So some additional options on here are, um, this is really important with you for this button right here for it to go somewhere else. Once you capture the information, you're going to come here and choose redirect. And this allows you to put in your site and the link that you want to take them to. So once someone comes in here and enters their name and email and hits the instant access button, they will go to this link, which is my uh, review page for a product that I am recommending. You can also choose um, whether the they leave your site in this page or um, and you know uh, it opens up in the same window 
or you can choose the new tab or you can choose the window. So I do like that about this is there's actually a lot of different options. You can animate the pop-up to come in from slide from the left, slide in from the bottom, fade in, swing, shake, etc. The shake is pretty interesting. It makes it shake so it, it is appealing and it gets your the viewer's attention and you can even change the position of the pop-up with some additional um, options here. So definitely feature rich uh, in my opinion. So this is a banner that can go up on the left side or the right side. Um, you can you can use that or not use that in addition to uh, the pop-up. You can choose custom fonts and then you have some additional personal settings here. But to keep it simple you just really need to focus on these top ones up here. Uh, updating the background, choosing an image, uh, changing the text for what you want it to be and making sure that you enter in this information the, for your redirect URL so that they go somewhere after they hit the, the uh, after they give you your information and hit the instant access button. When you're done with that just hit save. This is the next step which is your campaign setting. So this will determine when it shows so you can actually schedule this to show to, to show next tomorrow instead of right now. You can actually set your trigger option so when does the pop-up start and in this case for me I went three to five seconds. Um, so actually this is disabled if you just want to leave that for uh, zero you want to come here on exit uh, you can change your sensitivity, uh, so how sensitive you want it to be on showing the pop-up. I uh, went with low sensitivity so that I want it to fire as many times as possible. Some additional options that you can wait until after 5 seconds is where I, I was adjusting it from 3 to 5 seconds. Um, when they scroll down the page, you can determine that I want it to show when they scroll down 25% of the page. And I can also say uh, when they start scrolling up the page, I can put in 25%. So once again, a lot of different additional options here. And the good news is, is there's great training to show you um, how to use all of these. There's lots of different videos, so don't be freaked out about these options. Starting off, you just start really simple. Those are all of the uh, those are all of the options that I chose originally. I didn't choose anything else. There's no reason to do that. You don't need to get advanced on your first try. So when you're done with that, click save, and there you go. So now I have my third campaign here. Um, it's been created for 29 seconds, and obviously it doesn't have any traffic. So now that I have my uh, pop-up created. The way you're going to add this to your site is to come up here and choose view code. So this is the one line of code that you want to uh, you need to copy and paste and put in your website and when you click on it it will automatically copy it to your clipboard and if you need any help on how to do this you can actually click this how to insert code and it's going to take you directly to the help files. In this case, I was uh, I have a WordPress website, so I clicked on WordPress, and there is an easy video to show me how to do it. I'm actually going to show you how to do this too. I'll show you where to add it, but just know that you're not alone. Uh, you do have training. If you have an additional, different sort of website like uh, Big Commerce, Wix, or something else, Shopify, they have videos to show you how to set those up. So. In my opinion, this is really good support training. They've thought about all the use cases and options that you that may apply to you, and they've created training around that. So in order to add the pop-up to your website, you need to go into your WordPress backend, your WordPress dashboard, go into Appearance, and Theme Editor. So just a word of caution, just be careful when you're in this area. Uh, any mistakes and delete, deleting of characters that are needed can mess up your site, but just keep this simple. Take it one step at a time. Um, what you can do is come over here once you're into the theme editor, come all the way down to find your footer. And this is in the video, it shows you step by step. Go inside your footer file and come down to the bottom and insert the tracker code right before the body tag here. Once again, that's in the video. That's how I learned how to do it. 
I put it here and then you're going to save update file and that's it. That's all you have to add and those pop-ups will show up on your website. When you're done and you've added the tracker code, you can hit hide code and it will hide it and you'll go be back to your pop-up management dashboard here. So this is your leads dashboard. This is where you capture the leads that come in from your pop-ups. And as I mentioned earlier, it's pretty cool to see where they come from. This is my one lead that I've received over from pop-up since I've installed it. This is also where you can connect these leads to be automatically added to your autoresponder. So if you hit the export to Mail integrations, it will give you all of the different options. Um, these are, there's a lot of options here, pretty much every email provider that you can think of that you may want to send this lead to. Click on the one you have, whether it's Aweber, MailChimp. Uh, personally, I have GetResponse. And then I come to the screen to set up GetResponse here. And uh, as you can see, I haven't set up, so I would choose to get help with integrations. Click on this. It's going to actually take me to a specific area to show me how to do that. So once again, high mentions uh, on the training. Uh, definitely give them a thumbs up. Very thorough. Easy to follow. They've done a good job with that. So you should be fine figuring this out. When you've set up your autoresponder, just exit out of that. Next tab is going to be the A-B testing. So this is a really important one because this allows you to create variations of your pop-up. So you can have two different variations and change different things about them and see which one works. So I have done that and I thought the stats were pretty interesting. So this right here will actually bring up the stats specifically around my two variations. So I have an A template and I have a B template. You can see that my A template has been shown 17 times, nobody's clicked on it. My B template has sh been shown 10 times with one conversion. So I actually have a 10% conversion rate on that one. When you're done looking at your stats, you just click on the bread link there, the breadcrumb I should say, uh, that takes you back to the main page. Click on this. Um, this takes you back to the settings so I can adjust the frequency and the trigger options. I'm actually going to lower this so exit offers sensitivity. I want it to be low um, so that it appears uh, as much as possible. So I'm going to save that and here I'm going to show you the different variations I have. So this is A. This says a simple way to make commissions online, beginner friendly, works for pros to simple to implement. Cancel out of that. And this is B. This is the one that actually has uh, a, a click so far. One simple traffic strategy to make money online, a step by step blueprint. Yes, it works. And when you're ready to add AB a testing, this was very easy and intuitive to follow. So since I created a new one, Get Unstuck 12 Steps, you can choose whether to, you can choose which um, pop-up you want to make a test for, and you can choose the option to um, basically just make it very similar and make a very similar variation. You can create a completely brand new from scratch design, so they could be completely different, everything from image and copy. And you can um, copy the existing overlay and test it against no overlay. So uh, just slight variations that you can test. Personally, I'm going to recommend uh, doing this first option and or this B option. I'm going to go back to campaign, say that that sparked an idea, and I want to come back in here and edit um, the original design here. These are all of your options on the on the campaign pop-up um, page. So if I click on this, this allows me to get a notification every time I get a lead. So this is completely optional. This is going to be my steps around that particular pop-up. This actually shows you the pop-up. This is going to allow you to edit your settings. So anytime you see that gear setting, just know that's 
where you can uh, offer how often it appears, uh, when it appears, who it appears to, etc. And that's one thing that's kind of weird is when you hit cancel, sometimes it wants to take you back to the statistics site, which is the main dashboard. But that's okay. You can get used to it. That is going to be the edit. And you can duplicate and you can trash. So uh, very handy features to create and also manage current existing pop-ups. The billing tab shows you the pricing. So you do have options to pay on a monthly basis or you can pay on a yearly basis. The yearly basis is actually going to be a better deal for you. And last but not least, they do have an affiliate program. So the affiliate tab links you to all of your information, your affiliate ID, and for currently they're running a promotion where you can actually get a $25 a bonus um, for joining. So you can get a 25% uh, credit to your account for each subscription to any package. And you'll see the referral information here. You do need to set up your PayPal account to get the money. So when you're in here and whenever you need help, um, as you saw before, when you start doing some activities, you will notice um, options, you know, uh, quick options for uh, the help files within your process. So that's good. But say that you're in one of these uh, particular dashboard areas and you don't see a quick link to the help files, just come up here under your account and you will see the help files here just click on that and it opens up the window so you've got everything from setting it up to the first time it will walk you through all of the different overlays and pop-ups options that you can create it talks to you about different editors that you have it talks about all of the different screens and sort of dashboards uh, pages that you have so like setting up the campaigns and the pop-ups the statistics dashboard, the integrations, uh, how to see, send leads to your email responder, upgrading your account, FAQs, etc. So this concludes my pick reel review. As you can see here, I personally give it a thumbs up. I plan on purchasing it as well and using it because I liked it because it's really easy. It was easy to install, easy to launch, easy to create, create different variations and test and easy to connect it to any of my autoresponders that I'm using. So I definitely give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend it for anyone serious uh, about business and increasing um, leads and eventually increasing sales ultimately. So if you are serious about that and you have a an active running website, then you definitely should consider the exit pop-up functionality and I do give Pickroll a thumbs up. I think it's easy to use. I think it's definitely um, good priced and um, you'll get some benefit out of it for sure. So this is Kim Wolf from AffiliateMarketingInformant.com. Thanks for watching.